welcome to Books and Blue Stockings. I'm Betty Bookworm and I read way too- Move over, Bookworm. I got it from here. What? I apologize for my outburst. It's just that I've been waiting two years to do an Emily Autumn inspired makeup tutorial. And I can hardly contain my excitement. All right, fair enough. Take it away. First, as is a common theme with my tutorial, start with a pale and sickly looking face. For there is no sunlight in the asylum. Nor is there any sunlight in Betty Bookworm's apartment. I should get out more. I'm your Ophelia. I've been so disillusioned. I know you take me back, but still I feign confusion. Next, pink eyeshadow and pink blush. Because as we all know, pink is for girls. And pink has always been for girls. You know, except in the Victorian days when blue was designated for young ladies and pink was designated for the boys. But color shouldn't really have a gender anyway. But yes, 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 pink, it is for girls. And we should all fight like a girl. I will swallow if it will help my sea level go down. I'll take a deep, deep breath. But I'll come back to haunt you if I drown. If I am Lolita, then you are a criminal. You should be killed by an army of little girls. They won't arrest you, the world won't detest you. Line your eyes with as much black mascara and eyeliner as possible. Black. Black as love's potion. Technically, that was a line from the movie Devil's Carnival, but Emily Adam was in Devil's Carnival, so it counts. I want to mix our blood and put it in the ground so you can never leave. Emily Autumn's signature heart. I think it's safe to say that she is better at drawing on hearts than I am. For a more in-depth explanation as to why Emily Autumn has drawn a heart on her cheek, I would implore you to listen to the Ophelic Companion. Let the record show that you murdered me in the coldest blood with your own two hands. Don't think no one understands. It happens every day. Make your mouth appear as small as possible, because it scares people when large voices come out of itty-bitty mouths. Well, there you have it, folks. Sadie has successfully turned herself into a beautiful plague rat. Thanks for watching. I'm Betty Bookworm, and blue stockings prove my virtue.